Good morning, everybody. I've been waiting about two weeks for some sun to make this video, but we're taking a look at this 40 watt portable solar panel from Lumopal. This was sent to me uh, to test out. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and then I've got a brief window of sun right now. We don't get a lot of sun here. Um, so we're gonna try to test it out and see what it can charge. So let's start by just taking a look at what comes in the box. It's a pretty small box and uh, I have not opened it yet. So as we open it up, we've got this drawstring bag with uh, which I'm assuming the solar panel is inside. So inside the drawstring bag is this guy. So this looks like it would fit nicely in my backpack if I decided to bring it with me. And then there it is. Got four panels, must be 10 watts each. And then on the back, it looks like there would be some accessories in here. So we've got some cables here. We'll figure out what these are in a minute. And then we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. Two carabiners. And some adapters. That's pretty much it for the unboxing. So uh, I'm going to set up the solar panel. And then I brought some uh, electronics out to, to test it out. Um, I brought down with me my drone, my camera, a phone, and a tablet. Because uh, those are the main things that... I would probably be using a charge on the go, using this for camping or, or hiking or whatever. So uh, yeah, let's figure it out. It doesn't have any legs on the back. So there, I don't think there would really be a way to have it like leaning. Like if you had it on the ground and you wanted it to, to kind of lean like that, no built-in legs for that. So I'm gonna set it up just like this, probably need to change the camera angle. So over here, you can see that a green light is on. So I'm assuming that's because it's getting some sun. All right, I'm gonna start out by trying to charge this phone. I know the battery on this phone is currently dead. So let's take a look. So on the input over here, it's got a spot for USB-C, USB-A, and then one other, which I'm assuming is this one. So I'm gonna use their included USB-C cable and uh, try charging this phone. So the phone immediately started charging. I can't see any um, input or anything on there. Um, but it's at 1% and it's just showing that it's charging. So we're using the USB-C port on the back of the panel. Let's try charging something else at the same time using the USB-A. So I'm gonna plug in my camera. So this is a USB-A to C that I brought down. So I'll plug the USB-A into the panel. Oh yeah. It's working. So the orange light came on, so we're getting a charge. So the battery life is at 72%. So it's showing that it's plugged in on there. So we've got the phone is now at 3%. We've got the camera battery charging. So the only other option to uh, plug a third thing in at a time would be with this cable. So I'm going to figure out what this one's for and get right back to you. So as you can see there, I was kind of having a hard time figuring out what that uh, other charger is for. Um, the manual doesn't really say specifically enough for uh, dummies like me. Um, it came with these ports. Um, so any, whoops, any one of these can plug into that other cord. Let me grab that cord. So this is the other cord that it came with. 
So on the back of the power station, you can plug this in, and then there are these adapters um, can go on the other side of that cord to be uh, adapters for whatever you need to plug it into. Again, as a dummy, I'm not exactly sure what I'd be plugging it into. So um, I, I do wish the instruction manual just kind of explained what these ports are for, for somebody like me who does not know. Um, the manual does show that you can potentially use those to power um, a power station, and then it also shows potentially using it to power a drill. So I'm guessing these would be used to power more powerful electronics. Um, I'm gonna grab one of my power stations and just see if maybe it would work with it. Also, just during that time I was looking at the instruction manual, my phone got up to 6%. I told you I had a brief window for sun. I'll have to hurry up and see if I can plug it into this power station, move over to the driveway, and uh, finish this video up. So I've got a few power stations and I don't think any of them would have input power that would accept um, anything that this solar panel could uh, plug into to charge it. Hopefully that makes sense, but um, it seemed to work very well for USB A and C, um, able to charge stuff at the same time. Again, I could not see an output wattage. Um, I had something I could plug into my power station, but I think that was an output, not an input. The only inputs on the power station are like the 12, 12 volt DC, like a car charger or like a wall plug input. Um, so that will have to be explored further. I'm gonna wrap things up here, but just like a lot of the product videos I make, this is more of an initial impression or introduction. I didn't go quite as in depth as I normally do, but it's pretty straightforward. It's a compact foldable 40 watt solar panel. I'm pretty excited about it though, because now I can charge USB devices straight from the solar panel as long as I have some sun, and it'll be really easy to take with me because of how compact it is. That's definitely my favorite part about it. The only complaint I can think of right out of the box is that it doesn't have foldable legs on the back, so you can't really set it at a 45 degree angle. Um, so I don't know if that'll end up being an issue or not, uh, but it did come with those carabiners, so maybe hooking it will help. Like I said, I'm excited to use it more and see how it holds up. I don't know if I'll end up making a follow-up video. It'll probably just depend on if there's really enough information to follow up on. Hopefully this video maybe helped you find something you were looking for if you were searching for a foldable solar panel, but that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.